bro, check her out. Head in the clouds. Hey everybody, welcome to Head in the Clouds. Two quick things. The first, I'm from the United States of America, so if you're from a different country or a different culture, the things that I say here, they may not apply the same for you. Number two, I am not a licensed professional. Gays, what's with them? They got that pride stuff and their hands are all over the place. I'm not gay. Here on Head in the Clouds, we talk about gay men and mental health, and today we're focusing on avoiding gay identity with a false self. Before we get into that though, do me a favor. Is there a part of your identity that you hide? Leave that down below in the comments, I'd like to know. So let's start off here by talking about what is gay identity? What are we even talking about here? Gay identity can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, especially depending on where you are in the world. But at the most basic form, being gay or having a gay identity means that you feel in some way attracted to people of the same gender. Most people would say that you have to have a sexual orientation towards people of the same gender as you. But social norms and stereotypes can make being gay mean a lot more than that. For example, in the United States of America, being a gay man may mean that you're more effeminate than most men or that you like Beyonce. Work it, Queen Bee! And being gay has a lot of positive things associated with it, like having a community of loving people, being more diverse, more open to experiences, these kinds of things. However, being gay also comes with major downsides. For example, gay people are more likely to experience trauma or have a mental disorder. Depending on where you live, a gay person could be threatened with the loss of their job, violence, maybe even jail time and torture. So it's only natural that somebody who feels like they may have a gay identity or an LGBTQ plus identity, they may feel like they want to avoid that. Avoiding the identity can make it feel like we can avoid the harm that might come with the identity. So avoiding a gay identity could be more than just saying you're of a different sexual orientation, like straight. If you're a gay man in a country where social norms say that gay men are probably more effeminate, you might try to act more masculine. Maybe you go to the gym more often. Maybe you listen to rap music. Sup. Of course, this is all going to be different depending on where you live. So what does this have to do with having a false self? Well, a false self is usually a term that we hear associated with narcissism, but anybody can have a false self. In fact, we all pretty much do. Hello, social media. A false self is basically anything that you do that you wouldn't spontaneously do on your own. In other words, it's when you fake things or when you lie about yourself. When it becomes a habit of faking things and a habit of lying about yourself, it starts to become like you have an actual other self that you identify with. And when you repeat this pattern over and over, you may start to confuse your authentic, real, emotional, vulnerable self with the false self. You can start to identify more with it than with who you actually are. Yo, so I'm here to talk about mental health and shit. Another way that the false self may show up is instead of avoiding your gay identity, you may lean really strongly into it and go like all in. And taking on your identity so strongly may actually not be authentic to who you are. You may lean into stereotypes and things that are socially normal for gay people because that helps you to feel like you fit into a community, even though that may not be things that you're genuinely interested in. And in a way, even though you're not avoiding a gay identity in this case, you're still avoiding your true authentic identity as a gay person. Stop being so extra. But when you avoid being gay and you identify with this false self, you're not experiencing life as you are. You'll never really be able to truly relate to other people because that false self is like a barrier that's always getting in the way. The false self keeps you from opening up and being vulnerable, and we know that vulnerability is necessary to connect with people on an intimate level. Now I never cry, that's whack. I don't mention it by name, but I talked about the false self a little bit more in a video I recently did about gay men and gaslighting. Identifying with your false self and always putting a false self out there to the world prevents you from experiencing your emotions and that rich inner world that we all have. Being gay can be scary. Unfortunately, we do live in a world where just being who you are can have serious consequences for your life. But you can live a rich, emotional, and fulfilling life as a gay person. Be true to yourself. You deserve it. 
Sometimes it can be tempting to create this false self because we don't feel so great about ourselves. We don't have the best self-esteem. If you feel like this is something that you grapple with, I have some free worksheets over on my Patreon page on self-esteem that may help you. My patrons have helped me to make videos like this, thank you to my patrons, and they support me in my mission of humanizing mental health. I use Patreon to support other creators because I know it takes a lot of work to do this. If you'd like to learn about mental health and gay identity, why not head over to youtube.com slash ryanliberty, go hit subscribe. And remember to comment down below if there's something that you hide about your identity, I'd like to hear it. Thanks for joining me everybody here on Head in the Clouds. Yo, that dress is fabulous.